Hong Kong BNO household member root, expand it for adult children. We are back with part four of our series about the new UK immigration rules introduced by the Home Office. In previous parts, we talked about the changes in immigration rules made by the government of the UK. To watch our previous videos, click the link in the description box or comments below. Hong Kong BNO household member visa has been introduced for adult children. However, their birth date must be of the 1st of July 1997 or after and should belong to a BNO status holder or a status holder's partner. In February 2022, the government announced to allow adult children in the BNO household member route. According to the new immigration rules HC719 enforced, this system will come into effect from 30 November 2022. This system will be only applicable to the applicant having at least one BNO holder, parent and should be 18 or above. They must be a resident of the UK, Hong Kong, or the Crown Dependencies. Furthermore, partners, dependent children, or adult dependent relatives of the adult applicant child willing to apply, can also apply along with them. Another change introduced in the UK immigration rule is the changes in the requirements for evidence for Arts Council, England. Previously, applicants for arts and culture endorsement by the Arts Council England were needed to include only three letters of support. However, now they will be required to include letters from the organizations or individuals who have been directly working with the applicant. This will help in getting to know about the applicant's skills and their experience with them. The change in evidence required by the Arts Council England, which is starting from the 9th of November 2022, will include the following. Two recommendation letters from well-established art and culture organizations that should be based in the UK, where the applicant would have worked before. One letter from another art, s and culture organization where the individual would have worked before on a well expertise field position. These changes will be required for the assurance that the supporting letters have well knowledge about the applicant's work background. This is the end of part four. Stay tuned for part five of the series where we discuss the Ukraine extension scheme and more. If you have missed any parts of the series, Check out the link down in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for more updates on UK immigration.